All right, folks, our red spotted purple caterpillars are finally starting to hit final instar. And I wanted to give you guys just some really nice up close video of the final instar caterpillar. This guy's probably a day into being in his last stage before making his chrysalis. Uh, he seems to be feeding just fine on the willow. We switched him over from deer berry. Uh, or uh, black cherry rather over to this willow and he's eating just fine and so in fact all of them are we have a hundred percent success rate so far but uh, guys check out this caterpillar now if we look close we can see some of these bright blue dots that run down the body but then also we can see the 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 scolium on the back of the head Sorry, it's a little windy out here, guys, and I'm having a hard time keeping the guy still, but I've heard that the Viceroy caterpillar and this caterpillar are practically identical. Very, very difficult to tell them apart in the wild, uh, especially in the larval stage. But what I've heard is that the Viceroy caterpillar, the scoli back here, are a little bit more spiky and these, these guys have like more rounded little nubs instead of really spiky, spiky uh, scolies. So um, I'll have to go back and look at some of my Viceroy Caterpillar images, but if that's a way to tell them apart, I don't know. I've also heard that the red spotted purple scoli are longer than the Viceroy's, but then I've heard other things that they're about the same length. So. point is guys that the red spotted purple and the viceroy are actually very very closely related to the point where they eat the same plants their larvae and pupae are almost identical but the adult is just completely different where obviously the viceroy's got that monarch mimicking looking thing with the orange and black veins orange wings with black veins and of course the red spotted purple is got that incredible iridescent blue purplish sheen with the red dots um and on the black base of the wing and so um you know funny thing is both of the adults mimic poisonous butterflies the viceroy mimics the monarch but then this guy the red spotted purple mimics the um pipe vine swallowtail so i lay fly in a lot of the same areas pipe vine swallowtail is very toxic it feeds on aristolochia plants vines which are are toxic and so this guy is uh, a, a mimic king <laughs> and here he's mimicking uh, a, a bird or lizard dropping just a crazy caterpillar crazy life cycle um i love the bug i can't wait to see the adults but I wanted to just give you guys a glimpse of the final instar fully grown caterpillar. He's probably got another two days of eating before he goes into the uh, chrysalis and makes his chrysalis. But um, we're, we're showing you some great footage here of the red spotted purple. And so, you know, fact check me guys, if the scoli on the red spotted purple are in fact more club shaped instead of round um, instead of spiky that's what i've heard but if there's a different way to tell the viceroy and the red spotted purple apart please comment down below uh, also from what i understand red uh, viceroys are more commonly found on uh, willow and so if you and red spotted purples typically don't use willow in the wild that's what I've heard. And so again, I'm not I'm not I'm not out there in nature observing red spotted purples because I live down here in South Florida, but uh, my understanding is that that the red spotted purples much prefer using either black cherry or deer berry and do not typically use willow in the wild. And so that could be if you find a wild caterpillar on willow and it looks like this, the chances are it's going to be a viceroy not a red spotted purple. So that's all I got, guys, on the final instar. Oh, he's starting to chew. 
That's cool. He is just chewing away. Yeah, so they're eating very happily on the willow. No problem switching them over from the deer berry and, or the black cherry. They eat just fine on the willow. All right, guys, here it is. A fully grown red spotted purple caterpillar. I'm fairly certain this is his last day before going pre-pupil. Uh, pretty ferocious appetite they have. But what I've come to discover, if you want to tell the difference between a red spotted purple and a viceroy caterpillar, the difference is in the scoli. These black horns that are behind the head. I'm going to show you some up close images so that you can see it. But guys, the, sc the scoli or the horns behind the head on a red spotted purple, even though they have little nubs that look like spikes, the, the, the scoli are much more smooth than a viceroy. Viceroy caterpillars have a lot more of a thorny horns that stick on them, on them scoli. And especially by the base of the scoli, you can see that it's really, really smooth on the red spotted purple. And the viceroy is just thorns all the way down. Now, those scoli are just for looks. They, they're just fleshy appendages. They don't really, they're not really like gonna stick you or prick you or anything like that. They're just for appearance. But that is the way to tell apart the caterpillars. And also another difference I noticed the head capsules on the caterpillars are a little different. The, the head capsule on a red spotted purple has little bumps, but the Viceroy head capsule has a lot more little horn-like little bumps on, this, on the uh, head capsule. And that's a great way to tell them apart. Uh, and if you find them on willow in the wild, it's more than likely a Viceroy, uh, even though red spotted purples will eat willow they're more than likely not going to choose it naturally unless absolutely have to. So uh, guys, that's a beautiful caterpillar, fully grown red spotted purple. I can't wait for the next stage, man. He's gonna be a pupa in the next day or two.